one of the things that makes sports so special for so many of us is because we can live vicariously. If we have a favorite team, if they win, we've won. Their defeats are our defeats. And so, although I recognize that not everybody listening to this is a Cubs fan, this past decade was truly a momentous one for the Chicago Cubs. I know though that we have fans that are White Sox fans. I'm guessing we have Cardinals fans. And I did a little research and learned that in Indiana, the Cubs are still the most popular team. However, depending upon where you live, you might be a Reds fan. So I think that we can all unite around this one. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back, cause it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. It was actually a little sad this year because, of course, we weren't actually able, no one was actually able to go out to the ballparks. Although, if you watch sports on TV, you saw that in some cases there were cutouts sitting in the seats. Um, in 2015, we lost Ernie Banks, who was also known as Mr. Cub. He played his entire career with the Chicago Cubs, which if you follow baseball, you know that that's very unusual. And we also lost Minnie Minoso, who was known as Mr. White Sox. He died in 2015 as well. And finally, the major event of all, in 2016, in case anyone hadn't heard the news, the Chicago Cubs won the World Series for the first time in 108 years. And I have to tell you, I see obituaries, and in the obituary, it will say, so-and-so was a Cubs fan, and he or she was so happy to see them finally win the World Series in 2016. People wrote things on the wall. So, uh, we have to do this one. The Cubs played it every time they won a game, which annoyed the opposition, but that was too bad. Go Cubs, go! Go Cubs, go! Hey Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gonna win today. Baseball season's almost one way. field. The poor Sox, people who are longtime fans, as I imagine some of you are, know that it's really Comiskey Park. Just like Sears Tower is Sears Tower, it's not Willis Tower, and Marshall Fields is Marshall Fields, it's not Macy's. So at any rate, uh, this is another one, and I'm going to let all of you fill in your favorite team here. This is when the Saints go marching in, but you can have it be when the Cubs, the Sox, the Cardinals, or whoever. Oh, when the Cubs go marching in. Oh, when the Cubs go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. When the Cubs go
those who've had an enormous impact on our history as Americans and have left a legacy that really has made its imprint on the world. We had a number of those figures who we lost this past decade. Two of them were astronauts. One of them was Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. One step for a man, a giant leap for mankind. And another one was Sally Ride, who was the first woman astronaut in space. So for them, fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, maybe kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. We've always had a fascination with space and watching the rocket launches and just knowing that the astronauts were there, there was something magical about that, wasn't there? Another person that we lost in the past decade was completely different, uh, Billy Graham, who was 99 when he died and uh, was often referred to as the nation's pastor long before mega churches and the the uh, huge televangelists billy graham could fill up a stadium and so for him i've found that many of you take comfort from singing hymns and one that i find seems to cross all denominations is amazing grace Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a soul like me. And on the political front, we lost George H.W. Bush and we lost John McCain. And both of those gentlemen served in the military and I could have put Senator McCain in the category that talked about people triumphing over adversity because I'm sure that you're aware that he was a POW for a number of years and managed to make it home safely. Both Senator McCain and former President Bush were committed to a life of public service. And in honor of their naval careers, please join me in singing Anchors Away. Wishing you 
another giant that we lost, and I have to say a personal hero of mine, was Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Supreme Court Justice, and only the second woman to serve on the Supreme Court, who passed in September after a valiant battle with not only cancer, but with any number of other ailments. She just kept going, and she was 87 when she left us. She fought very hard, in particular, for the rights of women. And you'll see some of her famous quotes, and the sentiment behind them was, yes, you would like to persuade people to your point of view if you believe it to be right, but you have to do it in such a way that they will listen to you. But at any rate, the song that I have included in Ruth Bader Ginsburg's honor is actually won by Helen Reddy, the Australian singer whom we also lost this year. I won't sing all of it, but uh, she made famous, I am woman, hear me roar in numbers too late to ignore, and I know too much to go back and pretend. Oh, I've heard it all before, and I've been down there on the floor. No one's ever going to keep me there again. Yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Yes, I've paid the price. But look how much I've gained If I have to, I can do anything I am strong, am invincible I am woman So in this last little section, we've touched on a number of people that we've lost in this past decade, but who were committed to a life of public service. And all of us, I think, are committed to doing the best that we can for our fellow man. In honor of all of these people, I'd like to finish this particular section with God Bless America. Mm -hmm. 